Hey friends, Billy from LM Cases here, and today we are going to look at a rather unique case. Uh, so for this particular case, I'm going to need you guys to use your imagination. Uh, this is a robotics team workstation case. And um, one of the interesting things about this particular case is it has no interior. Um, the, uh, the school that is building this out is, uh, is going to do the whole thing as part of their class. But one of the things that I wanted to show you guys that I thought would be particularly interesting is this is kind of a master class in frame miters. Um, I, uh, we started to take pictures of this thing to put it on the website. And I thought to myself, you know, uh, no one is going to know what this thing is, um, so I figured I would shoot a video on it. So here's basically how this thing works. There are three portions of this. There is the left-hand side, a middle section, and the right-hand side. And the way that this is intended to go is everything is hinged with a top piece here that is the lid that creates a little roof. So as I'm just very simply walking around this thing, it is pretty interesting. Um, when we looked at the uh, 3D drawings of this, all of us kind of looked at each other and said, what, what the heck is this thing? As I'm sure you guys are all probably looking at. So let's start from the interior. We'll work our way out and uh, we'll put it all together stage by stage so you guys can really see what's going on. So. The way that this works is this bottom section here, uh, there's going to be a work surface that goes right here. And underneath it are all basically craftsman uh, drawered toolboxes. Uh, this top section here is basically pegboard that goes back there to, hot, to, to hang uh, Milwaukee pack out style things. And this top section here is for um, one side has tilting lock bins, and the other side here just has small parts containers. So what these do is they refer to them as super pit or pit cases. Um, this is basically for like uh, robotic competitions. Uh, what that actually means, I, I honestly don't know. I don't know if it's like a battle bot kind of thing. Um, but they're basically taking robots, they're doing these competitions, and this is all the tools that they need to uh, either build out or make repairs, et cetera. So the top section here does make a roof, um, which as much as I'm sure you guys know, I do like to do as much of the integration here at LM uh, as, as possible, but this is kind of an interesting one for me where they're doing it all themselves. So <laughs> the roof uh, holds lights. And then on the top here, there is a logo piece. So if you look at this, there will be two logo panels that go on the top of this. And again, uh, as, as being a lifelong LLM uh, person of working here and selling cases, I mean, I have over 20 years with this company. This is the first time that I've seen any case style that is like this, which again is why I'm shooting the video because I figured you guys would appreciate it. So the other thing that they have is this middle section that's right here that joins the two pieces together. Uh, so the way that we are doing that is there are T-pins that are in here. This is a classic LM move to, to join things together. Um, and I, I should also say we, we did give them just a little bit of a power input section. Actually, here, let's go to the other side. You can see it a little bit better. We are using the DSKI inlet box to bring power into the case. And what that is, is it is a locking power con inlet, which is the DSK I, the I in that. Um, and then on the other side of this, there is a, uh, there are two true one outlets. So true one inlet, true one outlets on both sides. And they are going to just mount some fourplex um, power, uh, just duplexes. Well, they're not a duplex, they're a fourplex. So as far as cabling, what we're doing for them is we're giving them a power con to blunt tail here. Uh, that's going to allow them to wire in the fourplex outlets that we are providing, which is just the Hubble uh, fourplex outlets that we do when we make cables. We're just giving them to that loose. And then we also have a 25 foot power con, or excuse me, true one to Edison cable to plug this in. So each side of the case is powered independently. 
Um, so again, I know that this is going to take a bit of imagination uh, in this particular uh, layout to, to really understand, but while the case is open, this is the lid that is latched to the top, and the top lid is attached with valance spanning latches. So there is a lot of aluminum frame mitering. So once you do kind of get crazy with these frame miters, I mean, I, I would say that LM is pretty good at doing these sort of things. I mean, this is pretty standard for video fly packs and things like this. However, it does, it does get a little funky when you start to get into this. Um, you do kind of have to kick it to get it all together. Um, looking at the side here and then this middle piece, which is really kind of crazy. So um, the, uh, the middle piece kind of all but buttons up together when it's in transport mode, but again, just geometrically speaking, this is kind of a kind of a wild looking case. I should probably stop talking so much so you guys can just see this, but uh, I am um, I am going to grab Ben here, and we are going to put this all together and show you guys how this works. Okay, so with the three pieces separated out, you can really see the geometry here of what's going on. So let's take a look at this middle piece. Very, very unique as far as cases go. Um, so internally, this is the corner piece. So looking at the top here, this is again a very interesting closure style of the way that this thing kind of all goes together. So let's take this middle piece apart and we'll really show you how this works. Again, um, very, very interesting frame miters in this. Um, I, again, I have never seen anything like this. The, uh, the wheel pad alone has got some pretty interesting cuts. I didn't think that I would be shocked at this point in my road case career, but this is a cool one. So we're gonna take this part and uh, we'll show you how this works. Okay, so this is our centerpiece. So it's designed to transport as a completely separate item. So again, looking at the frame miters here, I mean, this is sort of a, a console case, if you will, but quite interesting. Shout out to our engineer, Apollo, for, for really coming up with this. I mean, again, here's the uh, centerpiece with the two the two side pieces put together. So uh, in the truck, they do have some, um, they do have a, a toolbox going on in the inside of this. So it's not just raw, but you can see that this entire portion is actually three pieces. So there is the top portion here. Uh, this front portion is uh, removable. And then the side back portion uh, is another part. Um, so, I mean, again, this, these are all basically triangles. So looking at the case itself, before we take this apart, what you guys are going to see is this top lid is completely removable. This lid is hinged. And then it all goes together. So Ben and I are going to start with removing the top lid, and then we'll hinge the top section down, and uh, we'll build it from there. Okay, so although a bit clumsy, it is closed. So this is a pretty interesting design. I think I've said that a hundred times so far, but man, it is really true. Uh, the frame mitering in this particular case is, is pretty wild. So I know what you guys are thinking. Um, <laughs> here, so I'm gonna give you guys the default answer here. LM is a custom case company. We will build you whatever you want. Uh, in the way that you want. So looking at this, 
everything with this particular design was specified by the customer. So down to the handle placement, the latches, what they wanted, that was all dictated by them. So, you know, <laughs> keep that in mind as I'm sure you guys are all feverishly typing in the comment section of, uh, of, of why didn't you do this or should you do this different? I mean, we'll make it work the best that we can, but again, this was more of a, an interesting video of, I, I don't know that I could take pictures of this thing and anybody would realistically know what it all is. So if you have any questions, you can email me Billy at lmcases.com. I'm sure that you guys are going to have questions about this partic particular thing. So Billy at lmcases.com. And if you want to check out the daily goings on of LM, check us out on Instagram. We are lm underscore cases. Catch you guys on the next one. Bye.